Don't forget to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you know when videos drop. Thanks for watching. Winter is always a challenge here on the Peacock Farm. One of the beauties that we have once in a while is we get this thing called freezing fog. And you can see here that many of the trees have a coating of fog on it and it makes it for a winter wonderland. However, it's not always a winter wonderland. We have to worry about getting our water to our birds. And that has to be either one of two ways. You either get your water and put it in the pan and if it freezes, you knock the ice out and you do it again three times a day. Or if you do it like we do it, we have the wonderful Miller manufacturing water fonts that work right down to about 25 below zero. They're only rated to zero, but that's fine. We love that 25 below zero. Here we are. And one of the other problems that I noticed is I have to make sure that sometimes the birds get the water dirty. And I came up with an idea this year to use a wonderful paintbrush, which is about three inches. And that helps me to clean out the water part of the Miller Manufacturing Water Font. And that works out pretty darn good. And so today I'm gonna to show you the, the wonderful brush that I use. And you can see behind me, the beautiful winter wonderland that we have here. It's beautiful, there's no wind this morning. It's about 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's doable, I'd rather have it warm. So let's show you the brush that I use. This is kind of interesting today. Haven't done this for a while. And go get my brush and show you. One of the problems we have with this is when the brush, here it is, it's a three inch brush. It says it's uh, 76.2 millimeters if you are in a part of the world that uses this. It gets really, really brittle. So the nice thing about this is, is that you just get all the stuff out and then you make it pliable and it works just fine. The water does get some dirt on it. We have dirt floors in our pens and it's inevitable. It's gonna have some dirt from the birds and you can see here that there is some around. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to take the water that's already warm and it's well below freezing here. It's 32 degrees here in Iowa, USA. And I just go around and I clean off all the dirt with this three inch brush. And then it looks really good. And then it's good for the next round until I have to fill up the water font again. This is an idea that comes in handy. When I'm done with the brush, I go ahead and I always take the brush like this and I whack it down like this to get all the moisture out of it. And then I take it up against my pens and I do it like this to try to get as much moisture out of it like this. And then it will probably freeze again and you'll do the same process the next time you have to fill up your waterers. So that's what you got to do in winter when it gets below freezing. That's Fahrenheit here, 32 degrees. And in places around the world, it's even colder than we are. I would try these water fonts. I've been using these now for about five years and they're the best on the market. There's none that even come close. One more thing. I would like to see something change on the Miller Manufacturing Water Font. The little rubber thing that holds in the uh, water from falling out. A lot of people like to pour it in with a funnel. I just like to turn the unit upside down and fill it up that way. So you may want to buy a new base water plug for your water font to have it ready to go in case it leaks and that would become a problem in the winter time. It won't hold water. We had one that I had to replace and I had an old unit that failed and it was used for quite some time. And I just took it off on the back side. I have some screws here. You just unscrew it and I've replaced the other one or you can call the manufacturer and buy another one from them. They're really great. I highly recommend this wonderful water font by the Miller Manufacturing Company. And then when you pull it out of your pens when it's cold in the winter time, then what you do is you go right ahead and you replace this wonderful base with a base that's just 
ready for normal weather and it doesn't freeze. So that's the story here in this beautiful morning that's very cold, but very beautiful with the frost on the trees here. Thanks for viewing. Order the Wacky World of Peafowl books at peafowl.com.